Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Bram. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again for a new tutorial. And today I am going to show you guys how to make a stop motion movie or film or whatever you want to call it. So first of all, make sure you have all of your pictures um, like I have over here. This is actually um, a, school, a school project for my sister. Um, but, you know, she does not know something about computers, so I'm making it for her. Um, and she wanted just this, all of these pictures. Um, in a simple stop motion movie so um, I knew how to do it in After Effects but I did not know how, know how to do it in Final Cut Pro so I was just searching around a little bit and I think I found the easiest and most efficient way how to do it so I'm just going to show you guys how to do this so first of all um, you can go ahead and um, select everything let me just try to do that um, select all the clips and just drag and drop it into your timeline okay that should do it okay so that's what we have right now um, make it to whatever you want I'm gonna make mine uh, 720 HD video and 29.97 frame rate press OK um, you, you know these borders are just because of the camera of my sister I cannot do anything about it you know I could stretch them um, I'm just gonna stretch, stretch them actually. Okay, so that looks nice and clean, and the quality is not bad either. Okay, so we did that. It should be with, yeah, okay. Every, um, every picture, you know, not one picture has a black border anymore. So that's what we wanted. Um, so now, like you can see, we have clips, and we do not want to, you know, make them. We want to make a really, um, a really smooth um, stop motion video, but like you can see, every time when you import a picture into your timeline, Final Cut Pro will make that a 10 second picture or video, whatever you want to call it. And, um, you know, it will take a lot of time, especially when you make like longer stop motion movies, um, to, you know, um, read time all of the pictures. So, um, the thing that we're going to do is we're just going to right click. Uh, when selected all the clips, right click, um, new compound clip, name it whatever you want to call it, so I'm just going to make mine um, stop, oh, stop motion, press ok, and that should convert it to one clip, so like you can see it's still you know, it's still not fast at all, but what we can do now is we can um, speed up every single um, you know we can speed up all the files at once right now so how we're gonna do this we're just gonna go over here um, click on the drop down menu click on fast and you know just pick 20 that's probably gonna be too um, too slow yeah that's still too slow so I'm just gonna make it a little bit faster you do this by pressing on the two bars over here just slide it Okay, I think I'm gonna make it around 5,000. Mm. So that looks pretty decent, right? So, um, yeah, guys, that was actually the video for today. Um, a really short video. It's really easy, but if you do not know how to do it, it could be a little bit frustrating. So I really hope you guys know how to do everything right now. I really hope I explained very well to you guys. If you guys have you know, something to notice, if you guys have noticed something, put it down in the comments below. Please give me some feedback, give me a like, give me a dislike. If you do give me a dislike, please comment down below why you did. So um, yeah guys, that was the video of today. I really hope you guys... Um, I really hope, guys, bloop. Um, I really hope I'll see you guys in the next video and... Um, yeah, bye.